Notion just got a brand new feature called conditional colors and I am so excited about it. Today I'm going to be sharing with you why you should use it, what it is, and why it's important to have a system of colors all across your entire Notion dashboard. Now as someone who's ADHD and autistic, I like to have order in my life and a lot of times Notion can be kind of chaotic so having a system that sets you apart and makes it easy for you to quickly look at something and be like that's exactly what it is, it's going to be really helpful for you today. First we're going to walk through what the conditional colors are and how to set them up. Then we're going to be talking about why I created a system and what the system is. For me, I use it with statuses. So that's kind of the main thing that I use the colors for. And then I'll show you guys some examples of how I use that in my Notion template. Now I am redoing my Notion template right now. It is kind of in the works of being redone. So I'll show you guys kind of a sneak peek of that. Um, you still can get, buy it now. Just know that my updates will be coming over the next like week or so. It should be good to go. Make sure to subscribe for more. And if you want the screenshots of all of the different priority levels, make sure to go to my Substack for this specific video. Um, I'll link it below so that you can download um, like a PDF version that I'll have available. So if you want to print that out or save that to your computer, you can do so. So let's head over to my computer and I'll show you guys how I set up conditional colors in Notion. All right, so we are here in the new version of my template, which is now called the Thread Template. So basically my whole business name has changed. It's now called Red Thread Studios. So I thought I'd come up with a better acronym. I also felt like my old one was just a little bit too much. So I decided to create six different categories with all of the different databases that I use on a daily basis. I thought it was very, very easy. And then I also color coordinated it. So I want to show you guys specifically what I recommend for setting up the conditional color. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up in my to-do database. So right now you can see right here that we already have the priorities set up. We have the different statuses. This is actually something that I created a while back and I have a whole video on that if you want the kind of the walkthrough. I haven't changed the, that system too much. But one thing you can set up now is if you go over here and you click conditional color, um, you click new color setting. Now, one of the things that you can do is you can choose which property you want the conditional color to be. What I recommend most for people is to do a status. Um, to me, unless you're doing like a due date or something, I think a status is the best way to use the conditional colors. So I'm going to click priority, which is the status. And you can see here quickly which status is which. So you can see if it's yellow, it's important soon. But if I wanted to change that to blue, you can see then it changes the whole thing. Now, one thing you could do is you could sort it by color. So that way you can quickly see again where it goes. To me, this is just another way to see things in a more visual way, which is helpful to people, especially if you are really aesthetic and you really like to just visually see something. But what one of the most important things I wanted to talk about in this video is what is the system of colors? Like what, what are you using colors for? So I'm going to walk through specifically what I have created, um, my priority system, but also just a quick, easy way to do that. And I'm going to show you guys kind of a screenshot of what that looks like. Before I do, I do want to mention that you can set up different, you know, if you want to set up a board view, you can see here the same thing, conditional colors. Um, so if you go here and go to conditional colors, you can do new color setting. You can see it just adds more to it, which is helpful. Um, you can do this across. So if I wanted to create a gallery view as well, I would do the same. So I would do conditional color based off priority. So it is very visually appealing. I also do really like it in um, calendar view as well. So if I were to add something here and then I add the conditional color, you can see here it quickly shows me what the priority level is. If I had another one, you can see that they're different colors. So this is really, really helpful. Also, if you're you know, doing content calendar, you can have different types of content again. But what I recommend doing is having a system across all of your dashboards and all of your databases that so the colors make sense to you. So I want to walk through specifically what I created and so that you guys can kind of see that. Okay, so this is the color system. I did use ChatGPT a little bit to help me, but I already had created my priority system, which I will also link uh, that video below. But I thought that this was really helpful just for people who don't want to have an acronym or anything. And you can apply this even if you don't have all the statuses. So the first one is red. Red is urgent. I don't know about you, but in my head, like red is the one that you need next. That is like the, the current to do the most thing that you need. Then you've got orange, which is the next one after red, which makes sense in the rainbow order, right? So you've got high priority, which is, you know, energy, high focus tasks. Then you've got yellow, which is kind of pending. It's something that you're eventually going to work on. 
that sort of thing. You know, green can be complete success. It's like, it's good. Um, the task is done. It's green. It's good to go. So basically when you're done with something, you turn it to green. It's like, we're good. Blue is something that is scheduled. So it's something you've already worked on, but has to go out at a certain time. So this is great for things like social media content or anything that's like it's done, but it hasn't been posted yet. So you can't turn it to green yet. Purple is more of like the brainstorming area. So this is kind of when you have ideas, but it's not quite fleshed out. Brown is archived. Um, this is actually an, a notion. They actually have like a gray, not a black, um, but they have brown and then they have like kind of a grayish black. Um, so that's kind of like, like really like you, you don't need to think about it at all. Like it's very much a like archived, but not like fully archived, more of just like it's someday and it's just not going to happen soon. So that's my color system. Um, I think it's very, very helpful. It's also in kind of a rainbow order. So when you're going to your notion and you're like, okay, so what you're going to do is for every single project, every single dashboard, you're going to basically create this inside of a status. So let's go back to this dashboard. So this is my um, template. So like, let me give you an example. So one of the things that I set up is my grocery list. So if I was going to go to the grocery list, you can see the master list right now has the conditional color. I'd turn that on, but let's scroll down. So you can see if I go to like snack, I've got things that are out of stock, which I made orange. So if you go to all the different statuses, orange is out of stock. Red is grocery list, which means it's like really important. It's the next thing that you need. Unsure is, I don't know if you wanna buy it again. Don't repurchase is like a brown, again, like an archive. And then in stock, which means that you already have it, is a green. So that's something that's like right now, like I know this is out of stock and I don't think I'm gonna get it again. This I'm also out of stock, you know, so you can go through and be like, okay, this is out of stock. I know this is out of stock. Oh, no, nope, grocery list, out of stock. But then if you look here, I'm gonna add conditional colors. These are all gonna be the same color because they've all been set up as grocery list. I'm going to refilter this because I don't want it that way. So you can see that my rule is that the status is grocery list. So I could make that more of a checklist as well. So if I wanted to do um, just a list where the filtered, where the status is grocery list. So, um, and you can actually change the way that you view the sub items. So you could just do a flatten list and then just see the things. You can do that here as well. So let's do that. So I do settings, sub items, flatten list. So that's more helpful because then you just see the final ones without seeing all of the above <laughs> like parent items. So this is very helpful. So if you're making a list, quick list, again, if you change the status, it's gonna move out so that you don't have it anymore. So that's a really, really quick, easy way to make a change into so that you're kind of visualizing the colors again. So let's go back to the front of this template. Let's see, another one that I've been doing a lot of lately is my closet. So say that I have it in gallery view and I'm trying to figure out, you know, what am I getting rid of? You can do a conditional color based off of status and you can see that the, the red ones are the ones I'm keeping. Say I want to get rid of this black shirt and put it in cell. You can see now that it's sorted that way. You can also then group by status. So you have the ones that you're selling up here, the ones that are, I call it NA, not, not applicable, but the rest of them are things that you're keeping. So that's just something that you can do as well for clothing. So that's just another one that I've quickly helped me find what I'm gonna be getting rid of. And so I can quickly add a status and I can find that there. There's so many ways that you can use this. And again, I'm gonna be doing eventually an update on this video, walking through my entire template. But today I just wanted to walk through specifically why this conditional color is a really great way to kind of organize your notion. And let me know if you have any questions about it or if you have any thoughts, because I'm always looking for feedback on what types of videos you want to see on this channel, especially around Notion. I haven't done a Notion video in quite a while, and I am really excited because I'm going to the Notion conference this September. So definitely gonna learn a lot when I go there and it's gonna be a super fun time with all the other Notion ambassadors. So anyways, hope you guys found this quick video really helpful. Make sure to subscribe to my Substack every 
Tuesday, I come out with a new uh, piece of content, whether it's a podcast or a YouTube video. And I hope that you guys check that out. So I'll, I'll see you guys later. Bye.